welcome to our first tutorial on Excel. We're going to be talking about some of the basic things in Excel and then start to get to use them in terms of our statistics class. So first of all, this is what you would look at when you open up um, Excel. Up here you have what they call the ribbon, which is where all my special commands are. And down here, these little rectangles, those are my cells. That's where I'm going to do my work. So to start with, I'm going to type some information in. And I'm going to type in some names. So I'm going to have Bob, I'm going to have Shirley, I'm going to have Fred, let's make it actually Fred, David, Amy, and Julia. Now from this list I want to actually randomly select two of these people. Let's say I'm doing a drawing for something. Well, Excel will let me do this, but in a way. So I'm going to name my next column random number. Now first of all, you notice when I typed it in here, it kind of went past column B and into column C. If I were to type something here, it's going to hide it. And I don't want that. I want to be able to see it. So I'm going to put my mouse right here in between B and C, and I'm going to double click and it'll automatically make it fit the right size. Now for my random number, I'm going to start with a keyword in Excel. Whenever I start typing equals, whenever that's the first character, this tells Excel, hey, I want you to do something. In this case, I want it to put a random number in here. So I'm going to start typing the word random. Now you notice it gives me this drop down of possible things. Now here at RAND it says return a number, random number greater than or equal to zero and less than one. That's exactly what I want. So I can either keep typing it and put an open parentheses, close parentheses at the end, or I can double click on RAND here. And I'm just going to hit enter. And it gives me a random number. Now I could continue typing random RAND down in these cells as well but I'm lazy and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click on this one here and I'm going to copy it. Now you can copy from up here, you can hit control C, you can right click and hit copy. And then I'm going to, with my left mouse button, click and hold down to select these other cells there that I want it to go in and I'm going to hit paste. Now if you notice this little dancing rectangle around it now, that tells you what I'm copying, but that annoys me, so to get rid of it, if you press the escape button, it disappears. So now I have these series of random numbers, which is great, and I could say pick the two lowest. But if this list is pretty long, that's going to be difficult to do. So to take care of that, I'm going to select column A and column B. And again, I'm clicking down with my left mouse button and dragging over to select both the columns. And I'm going to ask Excel to sort these two based on that random number. To get it to sort, I need to click on the data tab up here. Notice that changes my ribbon. And I'm going to click on the sort button. And I'm going to have it sort, bring that window in where you can see it better, by random number. Now notice it's using the labels that I have at the top. If they're not there, or if they shouldn't be there, you can use this button right here to get rid of it. I hit OK and it now sorted me on my random numbers. It then also gave me another series of random numbers and now I can pick my first two people for my winner. I always want to pick my strategy of who's going to get chosen before I actually sort it though. That way if I really wanted Fred to win it removes the option of me saying oh well I meant the last two and that would give Fred an unfair advantage. That's our basics of using Excel the equals rand command and the sort. We're going to be doing more of these in the future, but this will get you started.